and these are the this is IPOB family here in United Nations, Switzerland. They are here today to submit their petition. And we are done. Now you can see the deputy leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Mazi Uchembe. For President Mazi Uchembe, for please, what can you tell the Biafrans who are waiting patiently this day to know what will be the outcome of our meeting? Well, first of all, um, I want to use this opportunity to appreciate all IPOB family members for their gallantry, for their courage in answering to the call for general strike. We thank friends of Biafra, we thank individuals and groups, men and women of goodwill, who understand that we, the people of Biafra, are on the edge. On our own part, we are here at the United Nations uh, headquarters here in, in Geneva, Switzerland, on a very special mission and more importantly to submit a very important petition. We have been allowed access here. Some people will come and book a tour of United States White House or uh, United Nations as case may be and give us uh, the snapping flags and all that. On our own part, we are here. We have gone inside and we have done the needful and we have come out. The message I'm sending across to Biafran is that there is hope. There is hope and we must not relent. We must consolidate on the gain so far. Our leader, Marcin Landekan, who has said this fire burning, we see Biafra. Any tongue that rises against him shall be destroyed. He he say. Say. Any tongue that rises against his family members shall be destroyed. He he say. Say. The same goes to all our brothers and sisters who have undergone different degrees of pains and difficulties as a result of this journey to collective self-emancipation and liberation that we are on. It shall be well with all of them. It shall be well with their family members. We shall stand by them at all times under rain and shine they are ours. Yes, sir. And together we shall march relentlessly forward to restoring the land of Biafra. Sir. Our lost inheritance. Yes. We have not done anything bad. Our hands are clean. May the Most High God destroy those who want to destroy us. Sir. And may He bless those who want to bless us. Sir. May the land of peace, the land United Nations, obey the spirit of God. Sir. Sir. We shall come back here Sir. as responsible members of the international system Sir. to continue to address issues that matter so much to us, and that goes to the very heart of our very essence of existence. Shall we work with all of you? Yes, yes, sir. Sir. All here, Biafra. All all here, Biafra. I can see here the head of the Directorate of State and the person of Mazi Chike Dezim. You can see exactly what happened today. That today, being 14th of September, is a sad day for indigenous people of Biafra. And what do you have to tell our brothers? who obeyed the instruction you've given as the head of the Electorate of State to sit at home today? Uh, yes, uh, Mazi, Carlo, thank you so much. Um, I want to greet uh, great Biafrans all over the world, of course, especially Biafrans in Biafra land. Um, today we have proved once again that we are Biafrans, and when we set our mind on something, nothing will be well off from achieving that objective. More especially, or most importantly, um, there has been a call by the highest command of this uh, movement for our people to show that we are in solidarity, that we remember those of our brethren that sacrificed their lives for the life of our children and children yet unborn. And today again, we are shown that we have to have no from people. And because of that, that we are here as well, like our deputy already said, I wouldn't say much on that, but we are here. The struggle for the restoration of Biafra sovereignty and independence must go forward unimpeded and without stopping. And you can be rest assured that all of you there in Biafra land together, 
we will achieve our objective, which is the restore Biafra. And of course, the prayer of our leader, our deputy leader here, that our leader, wherever he may be, we hand him over to the hand of Tupac Kabel. And whatever happens, he must lead us into Biafra. And all of us shall, all of us shall, of course, be Biafra and worship Tupac Biafra in Biafra. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Please, this is the deputy here, of course. Now, we can't see the general without seeing the the adjutant behind him. Mazi Tony Zrumbike, as the deputy national head of the Directorate of State Police, what do you have to tell the Biafra? Uh, thank you, first of all, uh, for this very opportunity. You see, uh, we are children of Tuko Kaya who have come on a mission. And um, for us today, um, it is mission accomplished, at least for today. Um, we thank Tuko Kaya for this very um, opportunity. It's not easy. Uh, for you to be uh, welcome into these premises behind us, um, a premises of United Nations. I mean, Biafra is a nation, and um, uh, there is this sense that we are being um, valued and, and, and welcome into the family of nations, and that is what you see happening today. Um, let me thank those of you back home for your accomplishment, for your good deeds today, for obeying, and those of you who obeyed um, it can only be well with you, sure. uh, because um, it's a concerted effort. Um, we are putting every puzzle to that uh, to make sure that at the end of the day, Biafra comes. So when we sit at home, it's part of the job. You sit at home, you don't go outside and risk your life. You are protected. That, that is very wonderfully done. We give you all kudos because um, you are really hard cause. And when we say do this and you do that, it's always goes well and um, we are doing our part those in diaspora and we will not relent we shall continue to see how we can get the whole surmounted in the zoo so that we all can be free and that's what we have come to do diplomatic um, lobbying is part of that job and we will not stop until the Africa comes you see god bless all of you to be my bless all of you back home and anything you are looking for, you will get it. In as much as you work hard and pray, Biafra shall come. We shall do our part. All hey Biafra. All hey Biafra. Here you can see Madame Dendehanya present today. Please, what do you have to tell the Biafras for accomplishing, for keeping the instructions given to them from this global family? Thank you very much. Um, I want to thank everybody all Biafra, especially IPOB, for keeping to today's stay at home. I knew it's going to be very successful, and really it was successful. I commend all of you, you played a very important role, and we also played our role. And I want everybody to know that IPOB, Biafra, that we came here, we came to United Nations. This was not a photo shop. We went in there, we sat there, we talked to people in important. They listened to us. So we are here, friends, and because of this, we are marching on. I thank all of you. We are going to restore Biafra, whether they like it or not. Biafra is already here. Sir? Thank all of you for coming. Yes, that is the voice of Mrs. Sinde. Of course, you can see here President the Mazi Abanyem. The European Continental Rep, please, what do you have to tell the Biafrans at home listening to this very program? Thank you, Mazi Kano. Um, it is always a great feeling uh, working for Biafra. We all have our families, we have duties, we have objectives, but everything is laid down today for the sake of Biafra Restoration Project. We traveled all the way down here to Geneva, Switzerland, to make sure that we are playing our part. Things that are in and our hands, we are going to make sure that they are achieved in the name of Chukwu Kabiam. You see? You see? Our aim is to hang our flags on the flags of nations here. Yes. This is where you have the flags of nations. And the Afra flag is missing here. That is our objective. That is our aim. That that Biafra flag will one day, very soon, be hung among the flags of nation, the United Nations headquarters here in Geneva. We went in, you can see my badge, every one of us, 
has this badge. We went up there and discussed the issue of Biafra. So you are doing what you are doing all over the world, even in Europe in particular. We want to say thank you for all you are doing and all you have done so far. We want to thank you. Thank you very much. We want to also to thank the Biafrans in Biafra for their hilarious um, staying at home today, obeying the command from our uh, deputy leader and our HOD that today we sit at home. It is another mock referendum which has been successful and it is a very signal to the Zoo government that we are ready to go home. Shukwo Kema bless Biafra and bless our leader Martin Namdekano, Maju Chemefo, and all the IPOB members who are working assiduously for this goal, they all live to see Biafra restored. In Shukwo Kema's name. Here is a Mazi Simon. She was the the national deputy coordinator of Switzerland. These are the people that made it possible for us to be here today and they've taken good care of us. Please, what do you have to tell the Biafrans who observed today, 14th September, see that home, please. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Carlo. Before I go on, I would like to thank uh, uh, those that have spoken, especially our deputy director, Mazu My thanks also goes to Mazu, Dizim, and Mazu Abani and the rest of them. Um, before I go on, I have to um, I have to send this message across. Today we have stepped on the corridor of the United Nations. You can see it there, and again you can see the flag. But uh, the former speaker said we are going to make it possible that one day our Biafran flag will fly here. We are not here for do. We mean business. So and uh, you people should know that while we are here, the whole thing decided by the sit at home order given by the director of the state. So this shows you that um, we are waging the war back home. We are also waging the war abroad. We in diasporas, we have a vow to restore Biafra. And our goal is to restore Biafra. We are appealing to each and every one of you, you know, to exercise patience. You know, some, nothing good comes so easy. So in view of this, I can say that your, the world has heard your message. We have taken your message to that proper quarter, and um, and we are we are we are we are hundred percent sure that in due course um, your issue must be tabled. Biafra must be free, and I thank all that are working assiduously to that Biafra restoration project is a success. May God reward each and every one of us. May God bless our leader Martin Namdekalo, bless his family, and bless all members of IPOB who are working to see this project a success. Thank you. He say, he say, he say. And uh, this is uh, uh, Kanu Takanu, uh, who is also part of this delegation. And without he has something to say. Um, thank you very much. Um, it's a great opportunity to be here today. We've made our name, we've never put all our issues the way it's supposed to be here. I'm not going to take much of your time, and I'm using this opportunity to thank our brothers who are in Biafra land that has made it possible today that this 14th of September 2018 is a remarkable day. It's a mock, a referendum mock, and which has that would tell the zoo people, that would tell the Nigerian government that the power belongs to the people, it's not to the individuals. No matter what everything they are saying, no matter what everything they are doing, one thing is okay. certain that the Afra has come to stay and there's nothing any man can do about it. No amount of bullets, no amount of killing can stop us from okay. actualizing our dream, restoring the Afra the way it's supposed to be. Thank you and God bless you. Yeah, here uh, once again and uh, very fine statement here. I uh, want to appreciate our brothers here, our sister Lenny as well, and uh, more importantly, more importantly, we want to uh, renew or renew what has happened in Biafra land. We are very much proud of our people who have hidden or taken to the call to embark on general strike. The whole of Biafra land was locked down, no movement. Very soon, some people will begin to say, oh, we, we are this, we are that.
but we had effective control over what transpired today. The Zoom media even joined us to be reporting. And that is effectively what is called setting agenda for the enemies, for them to follow. And we are not going to back down here. The question we have to ask the so-called Southeast governors and traitors is this. With the humiliating and imposing exploits of indigenous people of Biafra against all of you today, is it not about that you recognize that power belongs to the people? This is not first, this is not second, this is not the fourth one. And it's an overwhelming judgment and vote of confidence on the people of Biafra, indigenous people of Biafra, for goodness sake. Led by our leader, Mahasinam, no other person, no other group of people can do this. No even with their millions. We understand that they spend billions to get people out today, but they cannot buy the conscience of a nation. You cannot buy the collective aspirations and the will of their own people. Once again, a very direct message to the saboteurs, the Ohanes and uh, rank and file the present crop of Southeast governors that power belongs to the people. Yeah. We shall take this power like our leader has handed us. I come home with it and then this is what we'll do with it. Once again, we thank each and every one of you and we urge you to remain focused and resolute for there is no neither are we going to contact them for anything. Thank you very a much. A lot of confidence once again for the people of Biafra, and it is a uh, enormous achievement. Remain with us. Okay, thank you very much. This is the voice of the Deputy Leader of Indigenous People of Biafra, Mas before. Here you can see the man standing here in the name of Marcy William Sakubo, the coordinator of Geneva, the only veteran we have today here in our midst. Marcy, what do you have to tell the Biafrans watching? Yes. This very program as it's happening. Now. I want to use this opportunity to say thank you to all you Biafrans in Biafra land. We are giving thanks to you, the one I called, because of obedience, and we have a special mission to the United Nations today in the accomplishment of their obedience. Because if they did not obey this day, everything we are doing cannot have a start. But the key, the key that's here in obedience, and that the obedience destroy all the plot of enemies against our freedom. I want to give our people at home all over the world, dear friends, hope that today that so many spiritual hindrances, some of us are crippled today. Yes, sir. That yes, sir. our freedom has been no day. Yes, and no man or woman, boy or girl, young or old, we say no because two people can be my yes. Yes, yes, sir. And whoever rose up against the decision of God, that they would then name the canoe, that the thunder of God, most high God will be so all of them. Yes, sir. Sir. And I want to use this opportunity and let the zoo and the I like to know that the moment they continue delaying Namdekano and his family, family, all of them will continue going by one after the other. Yes, sir. We don't have anything to harm them, but who is with us is, is more than who is with them. Yes, so I, I want to use this opportunity to say, you, dear friends, in the special permission today the United Nations I say thanks to all because we can yes. do the room. Thank you very much. This was the voice of Marzi William Sakubo from Geneva United Nations Geneva where we'll be signing off. Thank you and God bless you all.